Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. As you can tell straight away, we have brand new event banner at the top center position of the whole game screen. And that's what we are here all about, which is the brand new gacha that follows this brand new event. Alright, so let's take a look at this uh, gacha and see whether Freya's brand new funky looking plate actually is any use um, as compared to any of the episode plates that we've seen throughout the two years of Utah Macross. So let's see whether this plate will stand on its own or does it actually complement the upcoming Ranka plate um, that is in the second half of this event. Yes, we already know that Ranka is getting a similar style costume as to Freya's because she is singing Ranka's song Seikan Hiko, just that it is the Freya version. So let's take a look at the episode plate with its plus 25 luck factor. So even with its plus 25 luck, it's, the episode plate only has a 3614 total score. Kind of um, in the mid tier range. The best we've seen is about 3800 or more. Uh, and of course, focusing on soul and balance stats on voice and charm. Um, center skill is not S rank, um, so from this we can straight away tell that this episode plate is meant to be used as a support life episode plate. So I guess Ranka's episode plate might be a center position one, um, but there has been events in the past where both plates end up being life skill supports instead of uh, one being a center position episode plate and of course the other one being a life skill support episode plate so who knows but if Ranka's episode plate is a center position episode plate I am looking forward to that because Ranka doesn't have a lot of um, decent center position episode plates um, there are some older ones in the past where Ranka's episode plate only has a 70% 70, 70 boost in high score when it's used as an active skill so let's see what Freya has for us as an active skill and a life skill so Active skill S rank, life recovery of 50%. So that's a pretty decent active skill, especially when it comes to um, events like the second event of the month, which requires you to clear certain missions or certain tasks, you know, uh, to, to qualify for a certain boost in per, uh, score percentage. And of course, life skill support, that's what we're here for. So score and repeat. Um, when you hear score and repeat, basically it's meant for long duration songs because it will keep reactivating after every 30 seconds and it lasts for 7 seconds. Your score is boosted by 80% up. Pretty decent skill um, for a live skill, but sadly to say Freya is still lacking in the total score department, which is okay. Um, which just puts this episode played in the mid tier range, maybe tier 3. Um, instead of a tier 2. But let's see whether this um, episode plate will be bumped up in tier if it does have a special note attached to it. And woo, it does! Um, even though it does have a special note attached to it, which is the item note, um, which is very, very useful regarding to this current event, because you need the item note to actually gain you extra um, points when you play the event songs, because, well, this current ranking style the ticketing event if you guys are still not familiar about it go and check out my ticketing event um vi tutorial video i will leave um you know a, a card at the end of the, the video uh, linking to that particular one where you can re-watch if you are still unfamiliar of how the ticketing event works and yes this particular plate actually supports this current event you actually need the item note to help you gain the best amount of um, points for your ranking um, when you are playing the event songs. So even though it does have the item note attached to it, 10 points is kind of low. Um, from our experience of playing Otama Cross for 2 years, well, the appearance of a special note or rather the item note within the life itself you require 10 points to summon one extra note. Um, so it's actually better to have more points on this particular note. We've seen um, Makina's episode plate, which has the best boost in item note because that episode plate itself has an item note skill with 20. So 20 is currently the highest, 10 is pretty okay. We've seen 15, which belongs to uh, Kaname. And of course, we've seen episode plates with only five on the item note itself which is the lowest and probably the most depressing one um, but of course 
now that we have better episode plates like Makinas and of course we've had Kaname's boosted from 10 to 15 um, Kaname has two different episode plates that has this special notes and one has 10 and one has 15 so yeah so it's always good to round up to 10 if possible because 10 is the minimum that you can uh, actually have the extra note falling down in your live play so yeah so Freya's plate is pretty okay it has that exact amount that we need to have that special note uh, uh, activated or you know summoned out for play um, uh, but you know 10 is decent and it's not the best amount like I said Makina actually has the best um, stats on this particular special note but with this special note attached to this episode plate this bumps this episode plate up to a tier 2 at least or maybe in between if you want to count it to more accurately uh, it's around tier 2.5 to you know in between in between 2 and 3 <laughs> so anyway guys um definitely if you're a freya fan this is definitely an episode plate you must have in your arsenal it is one of freya's better episode plates when in terms of usefulness because of its skill its life skill plus that special note attached to it and it has pretty decent total score so um i'm sure there are a lot of better uh episode plates freya actually has within her collection um maybe they are from different element types maybe they are the pink and the yellow ones um, but this one is definitely a blue episode plate with a decent amount of total score a uh, decent skill and of course a very nice bonus at the end where a special note is actually attached to this episode plate all right so i only would want to spend a single time plate pool which is the 300 singing stone discounted pool um, as promised by dana the first pool of a brand new gacha will always be discounted so Hopefully enough, um, Freya might bless me because I have her on my main screen. It just happens that she's there because I actually kind of used up quite a bit of her Kiawawa dolls recently to power up um, some of the costumes that we I managed to unlock uh, via the free template pools we had during the entire month of August. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Will Freya actually change my luck or will she continue to give me bad luck and maybe leave the good luck for my waifu Ranka who is, who is coming around the corner uh, for the next gacha video. So let's do this guys. We're going to do a single template pool. Hopefully, I don't know. I, I don't mind having her plate. Um, both uh, Freya and Ranka's costumes can only be obtained through uh, gacha pools. Sadly to say, the, the event episode plates currently are only distributing points for um, Hayate's brand new um, Super Pack Valkyrie so that's kind of a, um, a good thing and a bummer because we can't get a Diva's costume for free in a way so uh, but a brand new Valkyrie is definitely a, a welcome addition because we don't know whether the Valkyrie actually has a decent Valkyrie operating skill um, or maybe it has a decent skill to help you out within um, life itself so we got four red boxes. I don't know if any of them will actually evolve. Um, so the first one didn't evolve. Who knows? Maybe the next three might actually have a chance. There we go. The second red box. So no evolution from this box. Oh, we we do actually have a brand new episode plate for uh, Freya's costume. So that's kind of fantastic. Here, oh, the third one. Oh, the third one evolves, and Freya gives us the gory, gory goodness. And sadly to say, it is not a plate belonging to her, but a very very old Min Min plate that actually has uh, not much worth to it. But anyways, I, I'm, I'm okay with it because it will grant me costume points to unlock a brand new episode orb that I can probably use to unlock the costume if required. And we do get young Freya, so that belongs to Freya's brand new costume as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty fantastic. So we do get one out of three... You know, one out of four red boxes evolving and it happened in between so just another um, bit visual proof that Dana has changed up the uh, the style of summoning uh, episode plates in the past if the first one if the first red box didn't evolve the, the rest following it will not evolve at all so the style has definitely changed and pretty nice two episode plates that grants you costume points um, I definitely will not have enough to unlock Freya's um, brand new costume. I don't know. Maybe I'll just see how things go and uh, wait for Ranka's brand new costume to appear and decide whether I want to use up my episode orbs that I worked so hard to get. 
uh, just to do that um, live video recording of uh, you know Freya and Ranka dancing to this brand new uh, version of Seikan Hiko in Utah Macross. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully as always, you guys had better luck than I did. Even though I did pull a 5 star episode plate, but it is a very old episode plate. Um, that wouldn't do much help in terms of high score achievements at this point of time of Utah Macross. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys and uh, let me know once again by hitting the like button down below if you appreciate all the information I shared. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. Share the video to all your friends who are still playing Utama Cross or maybe interested to pick up the game but don't know where to start. Uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, tutorial videos out there for anyone who wish to learn how to play this game uh, to yeah, you know full potential otherwise thank you guys again i said thank you three times already in this video i can never say thank you enough uh, thank you guys as always uh, and i'll see you guys in the next utah macross video until then bye